Hello and welcome back to episode 5 of Tag Across Europe. Even if you've seen the previous 4 episodes, you might want to stay for this recap because things are getting sticky. Right now, Adam and I, the chasers, are pursuing Ben on his way to Borkum, Germany. We just got off the train to Saint-Quentin, where Ben currently is, one stop early in a town called Tergenière because we thought he was going to leave Saint-Quentin and go to Amiens, where we could catch him. Unfortunately for us, Ben didn't get on the train to Amiens. He got on the train we were just on heading to Maubech, a small town with very few connections where we can't possibly catch him. That means Adam and I have to figure out where he's going next, and we think the answer is Brussels. We just have to hope that's where he ends up and that we can get there before he manages to leave. That is so embarrassing. Oh my god, he got okay. on the train that Let's we got Let's figure out off. our fastest route to Brussels. We want to go to Brussels, right? He's going to Brussels. Okay, here we go. I just need to figure out where I go after this. I honestly have no idea. Do we have to go back to Paris? I think it thinks it's the fastest route, yeah. Oh my god. Are we sure he's going north? Uh, yeah, he's well north of the station. Oh, Jesus! I think after I get to Maubeuge, my best bet is to go to Lille. And I know, I'm sorry, okay? I know we already went to Lille, and this is a travel show, but here's, here's the bright side, okay? I got a lot of coins burning a hole in my pocket, and Lille is a big hub, very busy hub. So I think I'll be able to just hop on a train right when I get there, um, and we won't have to waste too much time there, which is also good because that's uh, it's going to be an easy place to intercept me, unless they're already waiting for me there. Cut to them waiting for me there uh, right now. What What is the bad news? The train we need to Brussels is sold out. No. Yes. No, that can't be right. We're sure there's not a bus we could get on? Nope. Could we fly there? Not from here. Like, if we went back to Paris, could we fly to Brussels? Weirdly, there are flights between Paris and Brussels. Um, but, um, not, no more today. They all leave in the morning. <laughs> This is not good. This is really bad. All right, welcome to Mobej. Um, I have about an hour, a little over an hour actually, before the train to Lille. So while I'm here, I might as well try to do a challenge. And if, if I have to uh, veto it, it's, it's not a big deal. Let's go ahead and pull our next card and find out what it is that we're going to be doing. Okay, go exactly one mile. I am standing still. I'm going to spin around and point in a direction at random. And then we are going to look at a map and figure out where that location is. So long story short, things are quite bad. We're in a bit of a pickle. So right now we think that we want to get to Brussels because it seems like Ben is headed to Brussels. Yeah, so I think that what we do is we go here to Amiens, we go Amiens to Lille, and then we go Lille to Brussels, and we get there just before seven. It's off for like an hour, so we've unexpectedly um, earned We're just going to hang out in, uh, what's this place called? Uh, Tor yeah. Oh, no, uh, Tersenia. Tersenia. Oh boy, I sure feel stupid right now. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm dizzy. Okay. So this is the direction that I'm pointing. It seems like it's right next to this school. It would take much more than a half hour to walk there. So I couldn't walk there and back. There is a bus that would kind of take me kind of close to there, but it would take like 20 minutes and that bus only arrives in 20 minutes. So I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna veto this. We're just gonna chill. We don't even need the money. We can get out of Lille without the money. So, who cares? I'm gonna try and find a place to hide. I see some like woods over there and I think I honestly <laughs> might just like crouch in the woods for a little bit um, until it's time for my train. Tear in the air, more like tree in the air. 
Taryn here, more like tree right there. Wait, you just made that joke in the last hundred. That's it. That joke is good enough to do two. I was doing um, I was doing a riff. I was doing a, a different version of it. I was riffing. If he has three hours in Brussels, he won't know he's safe. But if he has three hours in Brussels, yeah. he's, he's gonna wrap up a lot screwed. of roots. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, we are. No, we're screwed. screwed. We're screwed. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, the good news is like his route, he doesn't have a super fast route to Borkum. So yeah, I mean, actually getting to Borkum is still quite it's hard. It's tough. It's tough. He arguably has, I think, in my opinion, Borkum. Most people, we generally agree that Borkum is the hardest location. Ben really wanted it, seemingly, though. Yeah, it is weird. Yeah, I mean, he didn't explain why, of course, but like he seemed excited by getting Borkum at the start. Um, no idea why. Maybe you know something we don't. Hello, it's Ben reporting from the woods. There are no updates from the woods. I'm just gonna hang out here for a little bit so that I'm safe. One thing that's really funny about being the winner is that you have no idea where the chasers are. Yeah. So even though we can't get to where Ben is for hours, I have to assume that he is acting as if we're right on his tail because he has to assume that we are. He's gotta be so paranoid. <laughs> I think there's an owl over there. That's kind of fun. Kind of fun owl, owl vibe here. It says he's by the water. Maybe he has to wait in yeah, the water. Yeah, it's a possibility. So it seems like he's doing a challenge. <gasps> oh. Oh. There was a big spider on me. I don't like it in the woods. This sucks. The train to Leo leaves at 2.13. I think that's probably what he's doing. Let's double check when we get into Leo. So we'll get to Leo at 5.07. Yeah, he'll get to Leo at 3.25. So he'll be there right before. Yeah. Off to Leo again. Um, I think there's a pretty good chance that that they're gonna ambush me in Leo. But if they're not waiting there to ambush me, then I just have to make sure that I minimize my time there as much as possible. All right, that's our train. Yeah, platform. Those clouds. Those clouds look fake. We photoshopped those in. Yeah, this is actually all just very advanced deep fake. You would not believe how much it costs to CGI all of this. I mean, that's why we keep trying to get you to sign up for Curiosity Stream. <laughs> To Leo. Oh, yeah, he's definitely out of the station. Yep. Yep, so he's definitely on that train to Leo. Yeah. He's on the train to Leo. That's good for us. Great. And he was going to get to uh, Brussels at four. Yep. He's not going to get there until almost six. Okay. Good news. Um, it would seem, I didn't notice this before, but there is a train from Lille to Brussels that I can actually just barely afford that leaves at um, 4.08, which is like a little over half an hour after I get it. Might have to just do some evasive action for a half an hour uh, while I'm at Lille. We're back in Lille. We were here yesterday. We're back in Omeo. We're, we're not back in Lille yet, sorry. Getting a little confused. We've been in a lot of places. Why did you take the stairs? Exercise. Okay, we've made it to Lille. I have about a half an hour, a little more than a half an hour before there's a train to Brussels. So all I have to do is not get caught. I don't see Sam and Adam, so that's good. All right, welcome to Amiens. We're here for about 40 minutes. That's the famous Amiens Tower. It was built in 1948. It's the only tower in Europe built by Francis Lloyd Wright. Um, just to be clear, no, that is true. Yeah, but it could be true. You don't know for sure. I'm sure that that's not true. I would imagine that's probably. I think I might be safe if I can make it into like a decently big complex building. 
What about this building? I mean, look, it's for New Yorkers. Oh, there's a Lego store. I love Legos. It's a really well-stocked Lego store. They got Star Destroyers. I gotta focus them. I gotta focus them. Not gonna buy Legos. Not gonna buy Legos. I'm just gonna go hide, like, buy this bike equipment. All right, where's your friend and mine, Ben Doyle? Okay. He's in Lille. Yeah. The big question's gonna be, does he only stay in Lille for a little bit, or does he stay for a while? Yeah. You get on the trains in two and a half hours. Okay, that train leaves in like 15 minutes now, so I'm gonna start carefully making my way back to the train station. Hopefully, they're not waiting to catch me there. Look, Sam, it's another ad for Crypto Ele Super Animal. Hey, critics ha hail it as Hilero. Okay, I'm exiting them all. Literally, anytime I see a man in a hat, I'm like, oh, it's them. I almost had a heart attack earlier because I, I heard someone running behind me, but it turns out it was a baby. Okay, the train is there. This is literally the same train station that they caught me by getting on the train that I was on. So, certainly getting on the train does not make me any safer. I still don't see them. They could get on the train any minute. Crypto Atlas Super Animal. Yeah, you know this is an animal? Um, Super Pets, I believe. Right here. All right, platform's there. It's a big boy. Ooh, it is a big boy. Look at that big, beautiful boy that we're about to get on. It's got some birds. Okay, so it shows Ben on the tracks. In fact, I think the same track he was on yes. yesterday um, when we caught him there. Unfortunately, it does not look like we'll be catching him there again. The train is leaving the station. Go, Ben, go, Ben, go, Ben, go. So the good news is Ben had, what, like an hour and a half head start on us, but he's taking slow regional trains and we're about to take a high-speed train. So we're gonna cut that lead by about half. We're in silly. Look, Sam, it's me. Oh, New Yorker. Yorker. You're from North Carolina. So Ben just got to Brussels Media, oh, which is where we're going. Looks like he's just outside. Um, so yeah, I wonder what he's doing next. We'll see him soon. Okay, welcome to Brussels. It is time to do a challenge because I am almost out of budget. And Adam and Sam are probably right behind me. So, let's go do a challenge. Let's go ahead and pull our card. Card we've got is... Cursed. <laughs> A die. Whatever number you roll, you must take that number train on the departure board at your nearest station. Well, that is very interesting. Let's go ahead and roll a die, and we're going to find out where we are headed next. That is a five. That means we are taking the fifth train on the departure board, so let's go find out where we're going. Okay, it looks like the fifth train on the departure board is Namen Luik Gil. Okay, <laughs> finally found this platform. This is the train. I'm only gonna go like one stop on this train. That's gonna take me to another part of Brussels, which is actually good for me. Um, so this card was like awesome.
I'm starting to get a little worried about the timing of our impending tag because it's 6.23. We're going to get into Brussels at about 6.50. I'm not sure I can get any rep useful if the tag happens at like 7.20ish um, before the rest period ends. And that would mean that the whole, you know, 45 minute grace period effectively becomes worthless. Um, so yeah, this could get really awkward for my next stint as runner. Oh, man, I'm thirsty. I, I had water earlier, but then this, like, French teen took it. He, like, walked up to me and was like, can I have that? And I was like, oh, yes. And I, he just he just took it. Let's pull a card. And the card is find a fancy car. <laughs> So, okay, I have to find a car that is worth more than 100,000 euro. Um, but I know nothing about cars. I have to figure out where the rich people would be. I've done a little bit of research and I had a very funny idea. There is a luxury car rental service at the airport here. And I know that if I go to the airport and they're looking at the tracker and I'm at the airport, they're gonna have a heart attack. Um, because I think the airport's also a pretty big um, train hub. I know, we need to hurry. Is he going to Antwerp or to Lula? I'm at the airport. I'm gonna do an impression of Adam looking at his tracker. Oh my, oh my God, he's at the airport? Something like that. I'm kind of off my game, I'm very tired. He's headed. Where's he? Oh, he's at the airport. And he's like at, at the airport. Let me, let me look what that could be. Oh, this is it. He's just trying to confuse us, I think. I, I doubt he's getting a flight, right? He can't I mean, have the budget. No, well, let's, no let's figure let's, out let's, let's go to the airport. Let's we get the exact same train that he got. This car looks like it might be nice. Please don't make fun of me if this car is not nice. Um, it's a C180. Yeah, it seems like it is not 100,000 euro. I will keep looking. This is like a... Uh, this is like an EV, SUV. That might be expensive. Oh, well, that car is, is even less money than the other car. Track 15. Oh, go. Let's go. OK. This way. OK. I know, I know. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. No, you're kidding. That was it. Okay, taxi. Really? Ah, okay, come on. Let's keep looking. Let's find a fancy car. This looks like a fancy car. Is this a fancy car? It says Porsche. I, that's a fancy brand of car. I know that much. Okay, after, after excessive Googling, I have determined that this car is a Porsche 911. That is probably not gonna come as a surprise to many of you who have been screaming that at your screens, but I figured it out and it was very hard for me. So this car starts at $100,000 or 100,000 euros, same thing now. Uh, I would say that I have claimed the fancy car card. Yeah, yeah, these are taxes, huh? Okay, well now I have to decide what it is that I'm gonna do next. We're getting pretty close to the end of the day here, um, and I really can't get very far. I'm probably here in Brussels for the night. Let's do another challenge. Let's, let's spend the last, you know, 50 minutes of our day doing a challenge and hoping that Adam and Sam don't manage to track me down. 
They're probably here by now. So I should be very careful. Um, are they headed to the airport? Maybe. We're so close. We're like three minutes away. Oh, come on. Stay there. Our next card is... Eat the national dish. Um, we are finally in Belgium. And uh, the national dish is frit, um, which is very fun and should be very easy. And again, I, I'm very hungry. Let's go find ourselves some frit. No, no. Merci, merci. Okay, they could theoretically be showing up here at the airport at any moment, but I'm kind of juking them out because if they head towards the airport, I'm heading right back towards the station that they probably arrived at, which is definitely going to annoy them. I don't see them. Can go up? Yeah. yeah. Let's go up, let's go up. Does it still show him exactly here? It's also, you know, we're getting near the end of the day. I, I don't even know if I'm going to have time uh, to have treat. Um, but what I do know is that I'm probably going to end my day right around that train station, which is great because it has a ton of trains in the morning. So I can get right out of Brussels right away. Ah. Big day for day. you. Day. Just a couple of minutes and I would have been going right back to the train station that you probably came from. We have 39 minutes left. All right, um, that time's very valuable to you. So do the, exchange the cards. Shuffling the cards. Sam, thank you. It is about to be 725. We will start chasing you at 610 tomorrow morning. Go. Bye. That could not have been gone better for me. I'll explain why in a second. Us starting the like jail period right now, right before the rest period, where it's gonna get like split up, is actually really good for us because it means that Sam can't get out of Brussels. He can't get on a train moving out of Brussels before the rest period starts. I'm probably not gonna get another chance to run. So what I need to do is I need to go for it. I need to go for it. Tournament. I already checked the configuration tomorrow morning. And it's really advantageous to me from here. So First thing I'm gonna do, I need more budget. I have 4,600, but I need more. When I calculated it from Paris, I needed about 6,000 to do a safe run. Um, but now I'm in Brussels, so I'm even further. So what I think I'm gonna do on about the 200 the value of the challenge, it also doubles the value of the veto period. I'm screwed if I have to veto a card. Okay, so top card. Please let this be good. This determines whether or not I get it. Oh no, touch an animal that's not a pet. So the animal must be mouse sized or bigger. The animal must be alive. The animal may, may be in captivity, domesticated, but it may not be attempting to become a cat pet. God. Okay, so a bird. Theoretically, I do wonder if there's like a sniffer dog, because a sniffer dog is definitely not a pet. Also, I don't know if I could touch a sniffer dog um, because uh, it would be in the hands of police. Like my best bet might be like a, a raccoon. So, the animal must be mouse sized or bigger. The animal must be alive. Aren't humans animals? Like, under any definition, humans are animals, right? Hey 
Hey guys, so you can't move right now, right? No. And you also can't tag me right now, right? Um, no, we cannot move or tag you. Okay, good. Good clarification. So, I wanted to get your opinion on a card. Touch an animal that's not a pet. So yeah, humans are animals, right? Humans are animals. God damn it. It's probably our oversight. But like, you can't tag me right now. So you're saying you want to touch us? Yeah. I don't want you to touch me. Yeah, I'm sensitive. I have problems. Enjoy the 750 coins. Buy yourself something nice. 750? Or maybe like. No. He doubled it. He doubled it. Okay, we're in trouble. Straight from the horse's mouth. This is what I want. See? I want to get on that train to. Um, Cologne tomorrow morning. I think there's a 603 from what I saw earlier. Yeah, see? Platform one. So I want to be on platform one when we end this period. All right, so Sam has 15 minutes before the rest period. Presumably, he is going to leave this train station. It'd be pretty stupid for him not to. I am actually on the platform right now that I need to be on tomorrow morning. One, platform one. I think I'm gonna get this. Yeah, I mean, I can get all the way to Switzerland, I think, before they can catch up. I think we're gonna Zermatt tomorrow. Um, and um, I think we're winning this, like, honestly. Unfortunately, this season of jet lag is getting pretty close to done. But if you want to get closer to the finish, if you want to get closer to the finale, you can watch the next episode, episode six, right now on Nebula. And you'll also be setting yourself up for the best viewing experience possible for the rest of the season. That's because every single episode of jet lag goes up one week earlier than YouTube on Nebula. And then this season, what we're doing uh, is we're actually going to be releasing an after show, this whole big long special available exclusively to Nebula subscribers, where we show you some of the moments that didn't make it into the cut, explain some of the behind the scenes, answer some questions, explain some strategy. It really is just going to enhance your Nebula jet lag viewing experience. And you know, the reason why we give Nebula subscribers early access and these exclusive is, is because this show truly could not exist financially without them. We know the numbers, we know what we get from YouTube, and we know what we get from Nebula. It's simply we would not break even on YouTube alone. That's because we get paid when people sign up for Nebula, and we get paid when people watch on Nebula. So um, it's a great deal. And the reason why so many of you have signed up, I think, is because it's also a really good deal for you. That's because if you go to our landing page at CuriosityStream, curiositystream.com slash jetlag, you get access to CuriosityStream when you sign up for any of their subscriptions there. And CuriosityStream has access to loads of really good um, you know, documentaries and nonfiction shows by big names like Jane Goodall and David Attenborough. And then when you sign up on that page for any of their subscriptions, monthly, annual, 4K, anything, you also get access to Nebula for free for as long as you stay subscribed to CuriosityStream. So it's two streaming sites for the cost of one. And actually, it's a little less than the cost of one because also at that page, you get a discount. It's like $14.79 for the entire year at CuriosityStream.com slash jet lag right now. So it's two streaming sites for the cost of one, uh, you know, for the cost of actually less than like a fancy burger or something. And it helps support this show that hopefully you like. So uh, it's kind of a good deal. So head to CuriosityStream.com slash jet lag or click the button that's on screen right now. And thanks so much in advance for your support. Bye.